Just uh, what's your reaction to the judge's decision that surprised you that he decided it so quickly? No, it didn't, it didn't surprise us at all. We kind of figured that this case would be litigated in the appellate courts and that's of course what we'll do. Um, the three people that signed this complaint need to be com commended for their, their courage to basically hold accountable the government. What we've got here, what's going on is the governor has signed executive orders under uh, her authority under the Emergency Management Act of 1955. Of course, those are very narrow uh, powers that the governor has, and they've been stretched almost to the point of breaking, and I think they have broken in, in this scenario. So, of course, we disagree that the governor has the power to mandate a mask or facial covering or any other sort of device. And honestly, I hope it stops at the mask. But what's happened now is that if the governor wants to do anything else, she's got basically unfettered and unbridled discretion. And we all need to be concerned about how much power that really is because there is no check on, her, on that power by any other entity. So I highly doubt that it's going to withstand scrutiny on appeal, and uh, we'll get it there as soon as we can.